Pituitary, the moon. When the spirit fire is lifted up through the 33 segments of the spinal column and enters into the human skull, it passes into the pituitary body where it invokes Ra and demands the sacred name. The pituitary is the master gland of the endocrine system. The release of pituitary secretions corresponds with the electromagnetic radiation and gravitational pull of the moon. Macrocosmically, the moon regulates the tides and oceans in time with its monthly cycles. Microcosmically, the pituitary hormones regulate and refresh our soul, fluid body, on a monthly cycle also. This is possible due to the presence of magnetite crystals. Posterior pituitary lobe. The lunar portion of the regenerative seed is said to be a posterior pituitary lobe secretion. Pituitrin is the historical name for combined secretions of oxytocin and vasopressin. Oxytocin. The moment oxytocin levels go up, the brain's survival centers cool off. The amygdala, an anagram for Magdalen, slows the circuits of fear, sadness, pain, anxiety, aggression, and anger. Then the only thing we feel is a love for life. In short, love produces oxytocin. The chemical composition of oxytocin is similar to that of protoplasm, the lunar germ. Oxytocin has many important roles in the temple body, including the stimulation, production and mitosis of stem cells. Lack of oxytocin brings on premature aging but increasing oxytocin levels through meditation, compassion and forgiveness actually slows the aging process by improving the behavior of stem cells. Vasopressin. Vasopressin mediates stress and stabilizes circulation. Vasopressin has the monumental task of maintaining the appropriate volume of water in the extracellular matrix. This allows proper cellular function. In other words, vasopressin is indispensable to the vital fluids of the body. Pituitary secretions act as a catalyst for pineal activity, thus producing the felt sensation of the great regeneration. In the brain, it first activates the pituitary, the feminine negative pole, causing it to send a stream of bluish solar electricity through the infundibulum to the pineal, the male positive pole, thus completing the circuit. Pineal, the pinnacle. The stream of blue solar electricity traveling from the pituitary to the pineal is nitric oxide. The sky is blue due to the presence of nitrogen. The pinnacle of enlightenment produced in the pineal gland has two major aspects. One, the stimulation of nitric oxide release, the Kundalini. Two, the upgrade of melatonin into pinaline, DMT and the biochemicals of enlightenment, the nectar of the gods. The pineal gland is bathed in highly charged cerebrospinal fluid. The pineal contains calcite crystals that are piezoelectric, endothelial cells that generate nitric oxide and pinealocytes that mediate nitric oxide release. When we are in a state of harmony, 
the pituitary secretes more oxytocin and vasopressin, causing pineal crystals to vibrate more rapidly. This increases our vibratory frequency centered in the massa intermedia. This is the alchemical wedding. Lunar and solar bodies uniting in a climax of power and healing. Jesus said, if these two make peace with each other in this one house, they will say to the mountain, move away and it will move away. The harmonic state initiated by pituitary secretions causes the rapid release of nitric oxide and stimulates the pineal to upgrade melatonin into pinaline, DMT and a host of other widely beneficial neurochemicals. Nitrogen the spirit fire. Nitric oxide is basically nitrogen and oxygen. Nitric oxide influences pineal metabolism, DMT synthesis. When photon light is absorbed by the body, it forms nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is essential for the metabolism of all cellular regeneration and it stimulates mRNA, the messenger of DNA. Nitric oxide is a molecule of health. The more, the better. The benefits of self-produced nitric oxide are prolific. In the biology of Kundalini, Jaina Dixon says, Tingles and bubbles are always associated with increased kundalini flow. There is some indication that the tingles are associated with increased nitric oxide. Remember, air is mostly nitrogen and oxygen. Electrons in the air are literally our life force. We breathe to take in life force in the form of electrons. Nostril breathing increases nitric oxide in the body. Hence all of the pranayamas that involve nasal breathing. In Hinduism, a common mantra is Om. Christianity altered Om and created their Amen. Chanting Om boosts the production of nitric oxide in the body. In fact, most spiritual practices boost nitric oxide flow and release excite carbon dioxide poison. Melatonin upgrades. Like the sun, the pineal wakes us up with its serotonin secretion and puts us to sleep with its melatonin secretion. Serotonin, melatonin is the nectar of life. Sero means seed and mel is the Greek word for honey. A glimpse at their chemical structures reveals the letters that spell honey. Serotonin and melatonin increase DNA synthesis and induce mitosis, cell renewal. Serotonin, melatonin and all of the enhanced biochemicals of enlightenment are derived from tryptophan. Looking at the tryptophan DMT pathway really helps us understand the concept of melatonin upgrades. DMT in the pineal glands of biblical prophets gave God to humanity and let humans perceive parallel universes. When pituitary hormones stimulate the pineal to upgrade 
melatonin into DMT. The DMT stimulates photon light emissions from DNA, creating more nitric oxide and causing us to actually shine brighter. But DMT does not work alone in the great regeneration. A whole host of other blissful biochemicals are produced too. The hallucinogen pinaline is a major contributor to the felt experience of enlightenment. The subconscious mind uses pinaline to communicate with the deeper spheres, allowing prophetic visions to be seen on the timeline. Lack of sleep inhibits pinaline production. When the kundalini hits the pineal gland, it ionizes the spin ratio of serotonin. Its electrons interchange, altering its chemical nature. The molecule itself is reconfigured to its highest potential, pinaline. DMT, pinaline and all the biochemicals of enlightenment are detailed in my book, The God Design, Secrets of the Mind, Body and Soul. The biochemicals of enlightenment travel from the pineal to the optic thalamus and the third ventricle. The upgraded biochemicals act as a foaming agent, biblically Epaphras in CSF, causing it to rise and multiply. When the supply of cerebrospinal fluid exceeds the volume of the central canal and the ventricles of the brain, it seeps over and bathes the nerves, resulting in the experience of an intense physical and spiritual bliss. Like yeast, the seed that comes forth from the pineal expands and causes the oil in the spinal cord to multiply. Flashes of light and the ultimate clarity of mind occurs. The massa intermediate is freed from discordant cycles. Limitless potential is realized and the great regeneration is underway. Terminal filament bridge to immortality. In Thinking and Destiny, Harold Percival says that the terminal filament is atrophied or clogged up in adults. He says it takes 13 lunar cycles to reopen or regenerate the terminal filament. The terminal filament is a complicated subject and this is already a long video so I won't explain all of the details here. However, the book based on this video is called The Cell of Life, Awakening and Regenerating. It incorporates all the details from this video plus many other valuable discoveries, insights and facts. The terminal filament terminates in the coccygeal body. So this will be our last stop on the journey of the great regeneration. Coccygeal body, Kundalini gland. According to Jaina Dixon, the Kundalini gland is the coccygeal body and not the prostate discussed earlier. The coccygeal body is a gland situated at the bottom of the coccyx and is said to pulsate when kundalini nitric oxide flow increases. This has been esoterically described as an inward ejaculation up the spine. Carey's description of the kundalini rising from this point also sounds like nitric oxide gas. 
that which is in this canal is of a substance more like steam or gas than anything else. The coccygeal body is comprised of epitheloid cells known to generate nitric oxide. It is a nexus of the body-mind systems, hormonal, blood, sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves and the immune lymph system. Therefore, it is clearly a key to the homeostasis and regeneration of the body. Conclusion There is a perpetual cycle occurring in the temple body. The cycle can cause degeneration or regeneration physically, mentally and spiritually depending on our vibration and choices. The regeneration of the fluidic lunar body happens monthly, coinciding with the moon. The regeneration of the mineral solar body happens yearly, coinciding with the sun. Light in the form of photons, electromagnetic energy, is received by the brain and differentiated by the pineal and pituitary. The two potencies flow through the autonomic nervous system, through the semilunar ganglion and into the solar plexus where they merge and conceive the seed in the spleen. After conception, some of the seed will automatically flow up the spinal cord from T12. Percival calls this automatic reclaiming. The remainder enters the vagus nerve and descends to the procreative organs where it is further vivified, if not expelled. Through what Percival calls voluntary reclaiming, the vivified seed is then reabsorbed into the body where it begins its ascension to C4 for the baptism. On its path to C4, it travels through other vital organs, including the kidneys and the heart. Love in the heart stimulates oxytocin released by the pituitary. This chemical is the catalyst for pineal metabolism. After its baptism by thyroxine, the seed arrives at the double cross of Ida and Pingala and the vagus nerve, where it is crucified. After crucifixion, the seed is sent to the tomb, cerebellum. The cerebellum admits the resurrected seed into the fourth ventricle CSF reservoir where it is distributed into CSF, the pituitary and the pineal. This causes the pituitary to secrete floods of oxytocin and vasopressin which consequently invigorates the pineal. The stimulated pineal glows rich with nitric oxide and upgrades melatonin to DMT and the other biochemicals of superconsciousness. Immediately after the process will begin again and again. Each cycle permits some of the essence to descend the central CSF canal via the ventricles, thus the body is purified by degree. After the 13th round, the hollow through the terminal filament is said to be fully cleared. Thus the seed can travel directly from the coccygeal body to the brain. The biochemicals of the great regeneration sacred secretion, enhance consciousness, cognitive abilities and health along all lines.